Around 2,000 years ago, the Apostle Paul shared a secret, a mystery, with the brothers and sisters of Christ in Colossae. And I believe it's a secret that we, in the family of God in San Antonio in the year 2020, uh, need to be reminded of as well. Hi, Grace family. I'm Robert Schmidt, and I have a scripture and a few thoughts to share with you today. From Colossians 1, uh, 25 to 27, God has given me, Paul, the responsibility of serving his church by proclaiming his entire message to you. This message was kept secret for centuries and generations past, but now has been revealed to God's people. For God wanted them to know that the riches and glory of Christ are for you Gentiles too. And this is the secret. Christ lives in you. This gives you the assurance of sharing in his glory. That's from the New Living Translation. I want to share from the Mirror Translation. It says, I, Paul, am, administ am an administrator in God's economy. My mission is to make his word known to you with utmost clarity. The element of prophetic mystery was, revealed, was concealed for ages and generation, but now is fully realized in our redeemed innocence. In us, God desires to exhibit the priceless treasure of his glorious unveiling of Christ's indwelling, in order that every nation will recognize him as in a mirror. The unveiling of Christ in you exceeds man's kind, mankind's every expectation. This is the essence and the focus of our message. We awaken everyone's mind, instructing every individual by bringing them into full understanding in order that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. So this is the mystery. This is the secret that was hidden for ages and generations. It's Christ in you and in me. He's not hiding in history or in outer space somewhere or in the future or even in the pages of scripture. He's merely mirrored there to be unveiled in us. This is the same news that Jesus uh, promised in John 14. I will not leave you orphaned, I'm coming back. In just a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you're gonna see me because I'm alive and you're about to come alive. At that moment, you will know absolutely that I'm in the Father, and you're in me, and I am in you. So what does it mean for us to share in his glory? Well, the Greek word doxa, which is translated glory here, means the essential nature and reality of any given thing or person at its fullest and best. So the essential nature of God is and the reality of God is is his nature at its at his fullest and best and same for us so as Saint Irenaeus quoted is quoted as saying in the second century the glory of God is man fully alive so because Christ lives in us we display his glory by being our fullest and best self so let's go be that today Grace family Father, let us know your presence today in us. In Jesus' name, amen.